Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Read all about it, read all about it. New mods and updates on Thursday the 14th of September. Updates then. The map Goldcrest Valley by Puma145 has had an update. It doesn't say if it needs a new save game or not. The map Hills of Tuscany by Johnny X Pro has had an update that says a new save game is not required. And the Greenhouses with Pallets by Tethys Saturn has had an update as well. In front of me, we have got the placeable newspaper boxes. This is by Farm Mods TV 3.16 megabytes download, two slots each for the first one, assuming you're going to place multiple ones around the map. Uh, 50 pounds, euros, or dollars for each one. Nicely detailed. These, this is the apocalypse versions, as you can see. The graffiti on them, very weathered, rocked. No three meter cultivators for a day. No, I'm joking. Um, what have we got in this one? Uh, it's hard to say. More graffiti. Does that say cross? Cross? Difficult to say. Anyway, under build mode, under decoration, under others is where you'll find them, as I said. 50 slot count will come down to one they're two anyway so not very high um that's where you get them that's where you well that's how you place them rotate them just like that straightforward placeable newspaper boxes by farm mods tv next we've got all of these over here this is the lizard multi-purpose sheds by mr hector 48.4 megabytes download these are the buildings from Carpathian countryside. What's clever about these is we've got bale and pallet storage, pallet storage, but the ability to turn them off. So if you don't want to... <laughs> I think this is because of what I did. I know it sounds arrogant, but on Carpathian countryside, I had the one you can see directly ahead of us. I had that when the map did an update, that building became pallet storage. Um, I was driving past it and it took all the stuff off my trailer and put it into storage. <laughs> so I put little um, lights on the corners so I would know where not to drive. Um, so these ones, you can turn them off so you don't accidentally put stuff in. Or you can turn them off so you can use them as regular sheds and buildings, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll have a look at them all first. We'll have a look at them like I often do with sheds and buildings, um, especially when there's a pack. So if we go into build mode, and we're in our sheds, we start here. This one, the bale shelter, which is this one here. I'll show you the details in a moment. 20,000 to buy. Slot count is four, which will come down to one. That has a capacity of 1,200 pieces, whether it's bales or pallets. 1,200 you can store in that one. Next, we've got this building here. This building here is the consumables storage. 128 grand. Slot count on that is nine, which also comes down to one. This will hold 200. Um, both those doors open. Again, I'll show you again. Putting in, taking out. Um, but this will do pallets, production chain pallets. It will do big bags. It does all stuff like that. And this one doesn't do bales. This is consumable storage. Uh, Fertiliser pallets, boxes, those kind of things. And you've got a, a free sort of three bay garage to the side as well. Then next we've got the vehicle shelter. Um... Now this is and storage, but this one doesn't have a capacity. I think this is just a, a standard building. Uh, 194,000, slot count was nine, will come down to one. Then the big old building here will hold 2,000 pieces, bales and pallets, 236 grand to buy, slot count on that is 10, which again will come down to one. Now these ones that have doors on them do have the option of colour configurable and that's the doors not the walls as you can see that's got red doors that's got orange doors and this one's got green so what I'll do I'll pick uh, let's go with that one let's put it over here just so you can see while we rotate through them then top left change colour right on the d-pad oh that one is doing the walls okay this one's doing the walls <laughs> typically Okay, so we can change the colour of the walls on that one. If we go to the next one along, and I'll rotate it around so you can see the doors, and then we do colour change on this one, this one does the doors. There we go. 
like so. So they are configurable. Now, putting in is done on this section here where you've got the tip icon and taking out is done here. Your information open storage, di storage dialog box. Bottom right is showing you a note if you've got field info screen open. So it's telling me what I've got in there. Square bales, big bag seed, pallet solid fertilizer, round bales of straw. If I click on that, I can then pick whatever I want and the amount I want, the same as you can with any bale and pallet storage, to take them out. If I do that, they'll come out of this end here. All very lovely. Here, it gives me the option, it says, Disable automatic object storage. Warning, empty the storage before switching mode. So, that's already got stuff in. But this one over here, I haven't put anything into it yet. But as you can see, at the moment, it's bale and pallet storage. And I can't get into that, can't utilise it. If I come to here and disable it, it takes all of that away and I can now go in and use it as a regular storage building, regular shed, so I can pick and choose. If I've taken everything out of it and think actually I want to... So what I'm going to do now is just hopefully this will highlight the fact that when I get to here, this shouldn't, shouldn't take my bales and pallets automatically because that's no longer the bale and pallet storage. It will no longer automatically take them. All very wonderful. And that's the same on the other ones as well, but I have got things in those. But we do have the same option on this one and on this one. Like I said, that one isn't an auto bale storage. But, so we've got the same option here if you want to, to disable it. Now, if I open these doors here, you'll see the red cross comes up. It's because this isn't full yet, but that side I've got some in already. Bottom right, you can see you've got big bags of seed and pallets, pallets of solid fertilizer. Like I said, we'll take production chain stuff as well. Putting in is done this side and taking out when you decide what you want to take out. Let's say, for example, we're going to take all of it. Click on it again. So that's all of it out. It comes out this side. That is now empty. So I could, at this point, now it's been taken out, do that. And I can go in and use it as a regular building. I'd have to find a home for this again. Um, but if I decide, actually, you know what? I can go and change it back. All good. Um, does this one have lighting? I don't think it does. Um, but this one, the regular building, so regular building, if we get to here, it does say turn off shed lights. That does all of them. As far as I'm aware, it does all of them. Yep. So this one opens onto the side there. We've got this bit here, it's like a triple garage. So if we open that one, that one, and that one, as you can see, the lights are all on. But then this one is a big door into a larger area, which also then goes around the back there light switch here as well Where we got? there we go turn off shed lights and that will do all of them if you do it and then come along to here and we've got this section here these are large buildings plenty of space for storing whatever you want to store in here that's the third one i'm assuming the outside lights come on um when it gets dark because i haven't found a light switch i didn't when i was on carpathian either um for the outside lights i think it's the night they come on i could be wrong but i haven't found another light switch so this one then as you can see we have got over in the back corner there we have got some bags we've got a pallet we've got some and that's the liftable bales pack as well so these are the oversized straw bales um, it says round bale straw 11,000 liters so they're very large ones it will take pretty much anything again putting in done this down this side taking out it's done over here we have also then as well got the option that's to open the dialog box let's take out those there you go at the front there and then the manage point again if we want to disable it we can but we do also have once if you decide to change it back to a normal shed we can access from here but even if you're using that for automatic bale and pallet storage all round here can still be used on and off our shed lights this can all still be used for vehicle storage anything else you want to store in here and we've got a closed in section here as well with the door out there very very useful i like that as an option to have that switch on and offable um, because you often find with these this you know it's either a bale and pallet storage or not you can't because you can't access them you're kind of limited but that's that's pretty cool if you don't want to use it for that then you've just got a shed pack nice lizard multi-purpose sheds by mr hector 
next over here we've got more bale and pallet storage actually i'm going to go grab the um because i want to put something into it i didn't put anything in it this is the italian barn by debonator 29.5 megabytes download 19 slots on console 290,000 to buy with a 760 litre capacity. This only takes bales. It's a bale storage. I have got one pallet there. Again, it's just to test it, but as far as it says, it is only bales. And it stores the bales bottom and top. It's a massive barn, huge building. There is a ladder that allows you to go up to the top deck as well if you want to. So this should take the bales, but shouldn't take the pallet. Oh, now that's interesting. Well, 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 well. I'm just going to double check that. Italian barn, to my right, Italian style elevated barn. You can store up to 760 bales. Well, it took the pallet. <laughs> so unlike the other ones, those ones, you can't turn this on or off. It's a bale and pallet, well, bale and pallet storage now, apparently. But this one you can go into as well, normally. Like I say, we have got a ladder, so we can go upstairs. So I'm wondering whether it just stores upstairs for the bales and pallets. Well, I'm just allowing me to come up here as well. That's a curious one. Let's come down the ladder. Nicely made in detail. Like I say, it's a huge building. Uh, this should also... Oh no, this one wasn't under sheds. This one is under silos. There you go, under silos. Oh, and it does say bale and pallet storage there. Just the mod hub says um, bales. So bale and pallet storage. A lot of that about today. It's, it's interesting how the last two days, not today, but the previous two days, the mods were bonkers complicated. Um, the greenhouses and then the um, crude oil production and loads of mods loads of complicated stuff big packs um, and then today not very much at all which is quite nice i, I can whew, have a bit of a breather but um yeah so that's that one that's the italian barn by debonator which brings me on to the last of the mods for today it's the lizard ASTH pack by john fm modding and this is representative of the pack. There are four in this pack. It's 12.22 megabytes download. Each one is two slots. We have a one, a one meter, a 1.5 meter, a 2.5 meter, and a three meter. Get in. Um, these are subsoilers, not cultivators, I'm afraid. So, sorry to the cultivator fan club. Um, but under subsoilers is where you'll find them. I've brought one out because they're, they're all the same options and they do the same thing, just different sizes. So under subsoilers three grand for the one meter 65 horsepower required uh, five grand for the 1.5 meter 80 horsepower required eight grand for the 2.5 meter 105 horsepower required and then for the three meter 10 grand 150 horsepower required so the options are the same on all of them Let's go for the next one over because I've got the large one. So we've got design, yes or no. That just takes the uh, Lizard ASTH logo off the side. So you can have that on or off if you want it. The main colour, we've got four to choose from. Like that. So, start this up. Now this won't put up stones here, but I wanted to see what it would do. It should. There we go. So that'll be giving you the ploughed state, but the shallow cultivated texture. Which is interesting because subsoilers normally bring up larger stones. If I do it on a field that has already been prepped, ploughed and cultivated, let's subsoil this and see what happens. There you go, look at the difference in the seedbed. But it is bringing up big old chonky rocks, look at that. So, the difference in a cultivated seedbed and the subsoiled, much smoother texture between the two, but being a subsoil, it will bring up big rocks. It didn't bring up rocks that sub, or it's shallow cultivated because it was doing it from a crop. Um, I've said this before because that these were done by um, a texture option rather than actual ploughing. So this one will bring up rocks. So there you go. It will bring up large rocks. Be warned. So there you go. Fairly straightforward. 
the lizard oh, I keep saying that that's the that's the phrase at the moment isn't it I keep saying that every time I mod and all sorry the lizard ASTH pack by John FM modding that's it for the mods for Thursday the 14th of September I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to see a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>